ChefSheet tutorials. 4. ChefSheet Mobile and Counting. In this video, I will show you how to use ChefSheet Mobile, the free companion app to count inventory. I will also show you how to count inventory using the computer without ChefSheet Mobile. You can download ChefSheet Mobile for iPhone and iPad from the Apple Store by clicking the link at the bottom of any page of the site. ChefSheet Mobile for Android can be downloaded from Google Play the same way. If you're using an iPad, note that you can install ChefSheet Mobile on your iPad, but you must have selected the option to view both iPad and iPhone apps in the Apple Store. There will be a tablet and iPad version of ChefSheet Mobile which can take advantage of the larger screens provided in the months ahead. By now you should have viewed the tutorials or used the show me's and learned how to create an inventory. Sign in to ChefSheet Mobile using the same username and password you would use for the website. You will first be taken to a list of your restaurants. Select the restaurant that you wish to work with. Now you'll see a list of inventories which are set to active on the website. Active inventories are available for counting from the mobile app. The green button here will duplicate your inventory, retaining everything in the inventory except for the counts. Use the duplicate button to start a next month inventory or a next day's produce inventory perhaps. Select the inventory you wish to count. From here you'll be taken to a list of inventory rooms. Rooms can have a check next to them which would indicate that the room has already been counted. However, you still may wish to count a checked room to adjust previous counts or count uncounted items. ChefSheet is designed to allow you to move from room to room while you count. Same items in different rooms will be added together. Click the room you wish to count, kitchen dry storage for example. You'll now see all of your items displayed in the order you have placed them using the inventory creator. The top of the display shows uncounted items and the bottom counted items. Numbers here show the number of items in each room which are either counted or uncounted. There are two methods most restaurant managers and chefs may use to count. You can either first locate the item on a shelf and then find it in your list, or you could find the item on a list and then locate it on the shelf. Whichever method you use, ChefSheet is designed to prevent you from missing anything. To begin counting, click an item from the list of items in the room. All items will default to the purchase unit, the only unit which is required. If you had set an inventory or recipe unit and you wish to count the item using the other unit, you can click here to toggle between your units. You may have set wine with three units, case, bottle, or glass, for example. You can count your total with any of these three units. For example, 12 bottles will be a case and one case would be 12 bottles. You cannot count using more than one unit and add them together. Like multiple units, par and order are optional. The amount in the order field will be shown on the order report and kept for your records. You enter the order number directly or use PARs, which will calculate the order as PAR minus your count, which you can overwrite by changing the number in the order field. To count, enter your count here and swipe from left to right or use the arrow keys to advance to the next item. Note that whichever unit you use to count, purchase, inventory, or recipe, the counted items will always appear at the bottom of your screen as their purchase unit total. The count remains the same but it will always display as the purchase unit on the bottom of ChefSheet Mobile. As you count your room, you can see the numbers at the bottom, which indicate the number of items in the room counted and uncounted. When you have finished or reached the end of the room, touch the Done button. If you find an item that has not yet been added to your inventory, such as a 10-year-old bottle of apple pucker, or perhaps some Arborio rice left over from a Valentine's Day menu, you can click the Add Create Item button. Type in some keywords for the item you wish to add, and click the Search button. ChefSheet will first try and locate the item in the database. Select the item you wish to add, and ChefSheet will default to the unit last assigned to that item. You can change any of these or type a brand new item. To add the item, click Save. The item will appear in your room list, and you can now enter a count. When you've completed counting a room, click the Room button to return to your list of rooms. Then select the next room in your restaurant you wish to count. The Refresh button will query the ChefSheet server to see if you've made any changes from the website that need to be updated to the mobile app. The Menu button will take you to a list of functions where you can see the list of inventories, you can change to a different restaurant. You can choose whether you would like ChefSheet to retain your login information. You can sign out to sign in as a different user, or you can look at your reports. To view the reports, click the Inventory Reports button. You'll see the same list of inventories you see when counting inventory. 
Click the inventory you're interested in seeing reports for. You're now presented with a list of the same three reports from ChefSheet.com. The Order Report, the Category Detail Report, and the Category Sums Report. The Detail Report will show you all of your items with the counts totaled by category. The Sums Report will show you the totals from the inventory by category without the items being listed. The Order Report will show you the amounts to order organized by vendor with phone numbers and the cost of the order. For those not using ChefSheet Mobile, there are two fast ways to count your inventory using ChefSheet.com. You can print a count form by clicking the clipboard image here. Organized by room, you can enter your counts and update your prices in the same order you would find things at ChefSheet Mobile. After having filled in the count sheet, or perhaps just bringing the laptop into your storage rooms, you can quickly enter your counts into any room through the rapid count interface. Every inventory room opens into the rapid count. Here you can enter totals using either inventory units or purchase units, update prices, and use the PAR and order fields. Much the same as you would with ChefSheet Mobile. Be sure and click the Save Rapid Count before leaving a page. You can use the Tab button to move through the fields quickly. Our goal is to provide our restaurant users with a great deal of value and to truly save them money and time. Coming soon from ChefSheet Recipe. Soon you'll be able to create recipes using any of the ingredients in your inventories. You will also be able to add ingredients to your recipes that you do not yet carry in inventory or create entirely theoretical recipes made of ingredients that you've never purchased before. Our social functions are growing. With the end of beta, you'll be able to shop and compare from vendors throughout your market and across the country. Use ChefSheet to first identify when your costs have increased, and then use ChefSheet to do something about it.